Okay, in this video, we're going to quickly show you the force quit shortcut um, because that can get you out of trouble. But this video is mostly about the activity monitor and startup programs that run in the background. And that's because anything that's running in the background of the Mac is like, for example, these icons along this top here. This is tip number two of 10. And so uh, don't forget to watch the rest of the series to find out uh, what other things we can do to speed up a Mac. Um, so let's just quickly look at this force quit. Now, normally you can get to this force quit by just clicking on the Apple icon and choosing force quit. But if you notice here, many people don't, that if you press Alt, Command and Escape, it will actually launch it for you. Why is that important? If I press Alt, Command and Escape, up props the, uh, pops the force quit window. That's important because quite often when an application breaks, uh, you can't actually get, get out of it or get back to this bar. Uh, easily and if you just know that it's alt command and escape you can bring this up and you can close the application that's causing the problem let's for example bring up iTunes iTunes is now running uh, and let's just assume that that's uh, that's in trouble and we can just force quit it from there like so so um, that, that was just a quick thing I wanted to show you. Now, I want to go into the activity monitor. We'll use the spotlight finder for this. You'll see I've already typed activity in there. And as soon as you type the word activity, uh, up pops the activity monitor. Uh, and if you just double click that, you'll see this little window here. I like to organize this now by clicking the memory uh, and make sure I've got the largest memory users at the top and everything else runs down uh, underneath and that's uh, the reason for organizing by memory and not CPU usage is that typically when an application loads uh, it will tend to use the same amount of RAM and this shows us what will uh, what is loaded and what is currently using the most RAM so we can see here I know Snagit recorder is is large and the kernel task running application is basically the memory manager why do we need to know this well because we're going to look at what's in the startup and for that, or what rather what starts up for us, we go into system preferences. We can do that by using the cog on the dock. My dock is on the right hand side. I know most of you will have your dock along the bottom. I prefer mine on the right. The other way to get to this is by the Apple and system preferences. That will give you this window here. And we look at users and groups. So if I click on login items, it gives me this nice little list here of what will start up every time I turn on my Mac. And some of these I've recently added for the purpose of demonstration. But that one, for example, was there originally, as was this. So uh, we might say to ourselves, well, look, judging by how much RAM it's using up, let's not start that uh, each time we, we start the Mac because it's going to slow things down. You just highlight it and remove it. I'm going to remove Google Chrome. I'm going to remove Link. And even though I use Creative Cloud, pretty much on a daily basis. I'm going to remove it from here because if I want to run Creative Cloud, I will just do so straight from the dock. I don't need it constantly running every time I start my Mac. Sometimes I just want to get on, look something up quickly on the internet, and I don't care that Creative Cloud isn't running. Notice that despite the fact that I've removed those from the startup list, they are still running here. That's because I haven't rebooted my Mac yet and we haven't closed any applications. We're just telling the system not to load them each time we start the Mac. At this point, I'm going to pause the recording and restart. Okay, so the Mac is rebooted. Let's just have a look here. We can see that there's uh, next to nothing running along the top here now. And again, if we bring up the activity monitor, There's our Snagit Helper, Snagit Recorder. The, so the Adobe Creative Cloud isn't running. Uh, Adobe Desktop Services, so that might be worth investigating. Um, but the point being, if I now go to the System Preferences and show you, uh, <clears throat> just remind you what we've done here. Going into there, looking at the login items, there is only one application that's actually going to launch that wouldn't normally launch, that's there. If I do my Alt, Command and Escape, there's what's running. System Preferences, we just opened. The Finder is running, the Activity Monitor is running, and Snagit, which is the video capture. 
Now that should give me a nice good clean system to start with um, and if your computer is particularly low on RAM you might want to look at uh, look at increasing the RAM and I would suggest you watch the video on why, why RAM is important. Um, but for now that's it, um, so thanks for taking the time to watch, we'll see you next time.